With automation blocks for Premiere Pro, you can quickly set the metadata of many project items at once and even create custom tools for metadata you need to add or change frequently. As an example, we've built a tool for you to set copyright and author information. So the tool is really super simple. Just enter the copyright notice here and the author information here, select the clips you want to process and run the tool. In the metadata panel, you can see that in the metadata of the actual footage files, in the section Dublin Core, the fields Author and Copyright Notice are now filled with the values you want. The cool thing is that if I want to always add Copyright 2023 Mamo World, for example, I don't have to enter this each time. I can open the block code of the tool and here you can see the default values for the inputs. So let's change those to Copyright 2022 Mamo World and Matthias Möhl. Now we can save this tool in the user library as Copyright Mamo World. If we now open the user library, you can see that I have the tool right here and whereas the original tool has still Jane Doe as author, our custom tool has the default values customized to my needs. If you want to dig deeper and create other tools to modify metadata, you can right click and expand the main block code of the tool here. And these few blocks are really the entire code of the tool. You can see that it's not hundreds or thousands of lines of code, but just a handful of blocks to create a custom tool, even including a nice user interface. If you want to learn more, right click on any of the blocks and choose help to open the documentation of exactly this block. And in the section Premiere Pro writing custom tools, you even find a dedicated tutorial which shows how to create such metadata tools. That's the end of this tutorial. I'm Matthias from ourworld.com. See you in the next tutorial.